William Connor is perhaps most celebrated for his portrayals of the working class scenes, particularly um, working class scenes in Ulster. However, this painting behind me here, Lot 66, in our upco upcoming sale, um, entitled Dockers, we believe that this is actually a scene in Dublin. Um, we believe this because if you look just up here on the top of the, the painting, we see in the background uh, green, white and gold tricolour of um, the south of Ireland. So it's unlikely that this would have been flying in, um, in a dock in Ulster in Belfast. Um, we also believe that it was it's um, a picture uh, rendered in Dublin because Connor was a member of the Dublin Painting Society in the 1920s and we believe that in style and the way in which the work is ex executed that this has probably belonged to that period. Um, if we look at the work, and it's, it's um, the materials that Connor used would have been crayon and um, pastel on a buff uh, type card. We see that the, the, the faces here are all quite jolly and they're enjoying themselves, um, having uh, a drink after work, probably more than one. And we can see the docks in the background are still busy, busy at work. Although at first this work seems quite um, jolly and quite ha happy, um, because of the way in which it's executed, we also get this sense of uh, tragedy as well in these characters. These characters are, perhaps have a, a very hard life working on the docks and probably spend most of the time afterwards um, drinking. So they're, they're kind of these tragic, com comic tragic figures. You can imagine telling jokes and um, having great fun in the bar, but it, there's, there is a certain amount of tragedy in this is due to the way in which the, the crayon is rendered. It's quite dirty almost, and the, the clothes that the gentlemen are wearing seem quite tatty in a way, and the hats seem quite um, worn as well. Lot 82, Swans in the Lagan by Frank McKelvey, um, is in sharp contrast to the, the previous lot we've looked at, Lot 66 by William Connor. Both artists were contemporaries and would have been working at the same time in Northern Ireland and um, throughout Ireland indeed. This painting is, is much more Id idyllic, it's much more optimistic. There's no sense of tragedy in it. It's completely happy and very playful. We can see uh, a number of children here along the, the river bank who are, have come across some swans in the, um, in the river. And we can imagine this, this moment where they perhaps maybe have some bread that they may be feeding, trying to play with the swans. And generally in this painting, we've, it's quite optimistic and um, life is good in this one com compared to the last one. Um, we can see that the brush strokes are quite um, rapidly laid on here as well. And we can see the way the river bank is depicted. It's quite loose. And there are a number of different colours here depicted in different greens, ochres, browns. And the swans are quite loosely depicted as, as well. Um, also, you'll notice there's this uh, beautiful pink hue to, uh, throughout the whole image. And this would have been laid down as a wash and then rubbed out in parts. We can see it would have been rubbed out throughout the, the trees and in some areas down here in the foreground. And, um, what this does, it kind of adds to this idyllic, um, natural, playful scene, which um, is typical of McKelvey. Although he's best known as a landscape painter, most of his landscapes would contain some sort of human activity and particularly children playing. So this is quite a good example of his work. And we estimate this one to sell between 20 and 25,000 euros.